welcome to our set, our uh, C acceptance test. We're doing this last major test before we declare the Nexus 2 rocket ready for launch. The SAT test is a repetition of the HAT test, the Harper Acceptance Test, in which we went through the entire flight plan, just more to the pier, so we weren't going anywhere. We did that to find all the loose ends in our uh, flight plan, to figure out what we needed, what we forgot back in the workshop, and so on. And then we, uh, we updated all plans for this uh, C Acceptance Test we're doing today. This is where it counts and where we find out if we got everything right in our preparations for the actual launch. So today we are sailing out to sea to get the C factor into the test as well. And again, rehearsing the entire launch, uh, launch procedure again. <laughs> uh, I don't care if you like liquid or not. Spinning with a bomb sign. Yes, sir, the raketen uh, har en del rød, ligesom uh, skiftvis højre og venstre skrue. Kan du bekræfte, at den hænger dingene på raketen? Den uh, ligger og ruller en del om sin længde aks. Uh, 5 grader plus minus skift. Tusind tak, du har rettet gerne med Vi laver lige en tørre op på loksen, Kip. Ja, 
Vi er værksætter, med slut. Værsgo. everything right today which hopefully ends with a very big cloud of, um, of uh, liquid nitrogen spilling out onto the sea below us that is the point where the uh, where the rocket would have taken off during the actual launch and if all of that goes well then we basically we're ready Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit, all-volunteer project. We all work for free in our spare time. And the reason why we can make all this happen is because of the help from all you people around the world. So please click on the link and go to our website and sign up as a Copenhagen Suborbital supporter because it's all the small monthly donations from all you rocket fans from all over the world that makes this amazing project possible. Thank you. <laughs>